Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you all my tips that I have for having a better point and college talk and work talk and dance talk. So keep on watching. This is something I don't do too often, but I do it whenever I can. So you just take your TheraBand and you can find it at Marshalls or online or in any dance store. And you're just going to like flex and stretch, flex and stretch. And that's going to make your arch prettier and it's going to make you have strong ankles. Also, you can have two feet in it if one foot is like too much for you because the third band might be too strong. But they do have um, light third bands, medium third bands and strong third bands. I am using a medium at the moment. So what are you going to do? You're going to... This is a stretch that I learned online for a better point, and it works. Make your foot. Um, you're going to put the therapist on top of it. You're going to cross it on this, like this, and pull it down, and then pull it like put it like on your ankle like this, and you stretch your foot. But you gotta stretch it upwards. You're gonna take your foot and you're gonna stretch it upwards, and every time you stretch it like this, it's gonna stretch your arch a lot and that is going to hurt but it's going to get your arch looking a lot better or you can also just do it and stretch it like this make sure it's really really tight because if it's really tight it's going to give you that stretch if you try to like flex it's like a really good exercise too you can flex and point with it but yeah, I learned this on YouTube, guys. YouTube saved my life with my feet. My feet are looking so much better. I haven't been dancing because I'm going to college and I'm trying to find dance classes now. But none of them were good for me, the ones that I found online. So I'm looking towards like dance classes at my college. Hopefully I'll find soon because I'm going to die. Um, as you see, my point is almost straight, almost down there, but not quite yet another exercise that you can do to make your ankles stronger so you can be prepared for point shoes is that you're going to relevant and you're going to hold it for 10 seconds and then you're going to go slowly go down you're going to relevant again hold it for 10 seconds and slowly go down you can also relevant and hold it for one second like just do it 20 times just go like one two Sorry. So you want to make sure your foot isn't sickled. So sickled feet look like this. That is so wrong and it might hurt you. If you can't keep them together and up like me, I cannot really keep them like together. Just like separate them a little bit. But make sure you're not going like that. Make sure you go in like that. Actually, your ankles are supposed to touch which is what makes it better when you point when you relevate but I'm not that good so I can't really make my ankles touch when I relevate another trick is to hold on to something like a chair or something point your toes like this and stand on them and stretch go down and stretch this could be a little dangerous, so make sure you, your ankles are strong enough to handle it. And just do this 10 times. And like I said, it's going to hurt a lot. But make sure you don't overstretch them because it's going to hurt really bad and you might um, hurt your ankles. Make sure when you're pointing, it looks like this and not like this. You can turn it out if you want a little bit, but make sure you're not going like this because it's going to hurt more and it's dangerous. So I'm going to demonstrate. I have nothing to hold on to, like I'm holding to my window, so it hurts a lot more. So you go like that, down, up, down, and up. Make sure you flex too, so you just won't stretch this way only. You also have to flex a lot when you stretch your feet. And it makes it feel better to when you flex. So another stretch that I do a lot, like I do this almost every day when I'm watching TV or something. I sit on the floor or I sit on the couch and find something to put my feet under. A lot of people do not recommend this, 
because it could be a little dangerous but i do it and it never happened to me um i'm fine as long as you don't overdo it or stretch too far you're fine so i know that it's not gonna go all the way down because my feet aren't that good but you can put your feet under something and stretch as far as you can uh, as you see i don't go all the way down but the couch is lifting and you can hold up for around 15 seconds or 30 seconds it's not going to hurt you unless you hold it for like um, five minutes and make sure to flex after and wiggle your feet fun fact i have only taken a couple dance classes in my life i started dancing really late when i was about 10th 11th grade um and i'm a freshman in college now um so I think I am kind of good for not taking that many dance classes and for starting late. Um, I try a lot to not compare myself to good dancers that have been dancing to, since they were four years old. But I do get really mad a lot when I am watching these dancers be so beautiful and so good. And I'm here like, why can't I be like that? But dancing hasn't been it hasn't been easy for me. It's something that I love doing. I do it a lot in my basement, a lot. And I fell in love with dancing as soon as I stepped in the dance studio. And the first class was a ballet class. I was excited. I was dying in the inside. It's my passion, my life, and that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. I am going to college right now for nursing, but it's not my passion. I like nurse. I like medicine a lot. Um, I'm planning on going to med school after that because I want to do that. I'm crazy. I know I'm. you're probably like, why don't you just go to med school after you do four years of college? I'm like, no, I want to do nursing because I like it. I like children. I want to be a pediatric nurse. Um, but if I think after I'm a nurse that I want to further of my education and I want to do something else, I'm definitely going to go and do whatever I have to to get into med school because um, I really love surgeries. <laughs> Not because I'm a fan of Grey's Anatomy. I always wanted to be a doctor since I was eight years old. But I love surgery and I would love to be a um, cardiothoracic surgeon or probably a general surger surgeon because, yeah. Yeah, that's enough talking and more to the feet. <laughs> yeah, so crazy. This is my work uniform. I also work, which is why I can't go to dance all the time. It's gonna be a long video to edit. Thumbnail. I have another exercise for you guys. Okay. Ignore my hairy legs, okay? Another exercise, and yeah, my feet are killing me right now, is to go like this on your feet. This exercise is going to make your ankles a lot stronger. So you're going to go like that and go down. Go like this, go up, and go down. You do this about 10 times. After you do that, you're going to go, this one hurts a lot. Well, this one doesn't hurt that much. Just sit on top of your toes like this, but make sure they're not sickled, like I said. Um, and sit in there for 20 seconds, and that's going to stretch out. You're going to feel it right here. And after that, just go like this, and stay there for 20 more seconds. And all that is stretching your ankles. <laughs> So make sure you have a beautiful toe and a beautiful arch. So we want to be working on our turnout. My turnout is not good at all. Um, as you see, I'm going on fifth position right here. It's not really good. Also, you want you want to like relevate on fifth position because it's gonna help you turn out a little bit. So go up and go down. You're gonna go up and go down do that about 10 times and don't be as rough as i am i think that's all my tips for a better point and if you're a gymnast you're a cheerleader i know cheerleaders have to point their toes but they don't have to have a perfect point but gymnasts do have to have a really good point so it could look prettier and classier and better but yeah that's all i have for now if you guys want an update on my dance life my college life my point life <laughs> Just comment down below and I'll do that. And I know this is like an ugly setting, but I'm in the basement. I was watching um, a new show called 
I forgot it. It's about the president being a new president and something exploded and everybody died and he's the designated oh designated survival survivor. I can say that word. So yeah, it's eleven twenty two. I had to wake up at seven and I stretch my feet, watch TV. I'm gonna watch Netflix for like two hours and then I go to sleep. I don't get that much sleep because I don't get tired that easily. I'm putting all my dance stuff away. If you want a haul of all the things I have for dance, they're not that much. They're about like five or six things, but they're in this box and all of them are for stretching. Oh, I thought I saw someone that's creepy. That's just a towel. Um, all of them are for stretching and if you want a haul on them, comment down below. And I'll do it. I'll do that because I have nothing to do on weekends. Uh, oh, I might work Saturdays, but I don't know. Good night. Thank you so much for watching this video. And yeah, see you guys. I'm going to edit this right now.